Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube? It's your guy, Taz of the Reviewer, and this is Sally Knows It All. Tonight, what's we are up, reviewing folks? the house of Mancera. And, um, you know, I got some bangers on my list. I'm sure Sally got his. Yes, so, um, in total, I got, I got two, four, six, eight. I got 10 full bottles of uh, from Mancera, and I got two four six. i got six samples all right so i mean some of these i've already spoke about when it come to my channel and y'all are familiar with some of these i mean a lot of these y'all probably already know about but you know talking to Sally and doing live streams with Sally, there's some that he has um in his collection that i haven't heard of and i haven't got my nose on so he uh gathered up his fragrances from mancera and uh we're gonna talk about it man um i got you know, a pretty good collection of Mancera's. And, uh, Sally, how many Mancera's do you have? What's going on? Not so famous YouTube, YouTuber, so uh, Danielle. Yeah. What up, man? I have, um, right. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, shout out to Danielle and not so famous. 16, 17. 17? Okay. Danielle. Right, I said, I would have yes, said, uh, what up, Danielle? 10, you got 17. All right. So, what was let me ask you this, Sally? What was the first shout out to uh not so famous? His center today was mind game. What was your center today? Let's start there first. What was your center today? What did you uh, my scent of the day actually wore uh I told you about this new fragrance I picked up. Uh Virtus Boys oh, yeah, you did tell me about that. How was that um, wearing? It's actually yo, it's 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 okay, it's nice. I love the um the dry down is really where it's at for me. Like once you get like a um about forty minutes into it, it's really really nice. And it's I noticed this lasts so long. Like the next day, like I smell my hand and it's like really there as if I sprayed it like maybe five hours prior or something. This is a really strong one. It's um it's of that Creed style of DNA, but it's a different take on it. And Good spring that time. Creed style, you can't go wrong with it. Yeah, so that kind okay. of style, creeds to drop boys, that kind of thing, but with their own little flair on it. So yeah, it's right. It's pretty good, man. Actually, I'm spraying on spray down. Okay. Um, what's your center? I got Dame nine one nine in the chat. Uh, Danielle says she has roses, greedy, instant crush, and Sicily. That's that's gonna be my next one from mancera is that Sicily one man that's a great great spring i just put my nose on that one. Oh yeah that's a great spring and summertime mm -hmm. fragrance um my scent of the day man actually was from a uh unknown brand it's like a independent brand it was a mm -hmm. very like a uh, fruity uh floral fragrance it was actually feminine leaning but um i decided to wear it today man it was very warm out here in virginia man it was like 72 73 degrees and I wanted to put on some with some florals in it, man. Some some uh some fruits in it. You know, like I said, it was slightly feminine leaning, but um, I'm mm -hmm. very confident in who I am. And um, I feel like I was able to pull it off, and that's what I wore. I actually got a compliment. I gave a fellow friend of mine a hug. Um, and she said, Wow, you smell really good. You know, I was surprised because that's you know, that's not a manly scent. So I was I was uh, looking forward for it to see reaction from people in the public and was it going to be too feminine leaning or was it going to be, you know, you know, not get the, the reactions that I wanted. So let me ask you that, uh, Sally, have you, have you ever put on a fragrance that you felt like was slightly too feminine for you, but you wanted to see the kind of reaction you was going to get? Uh, yeah. Um, honestly, I, I'm, I'm good with, uh, things that lean slightly feminine. I'm at the point now where I, if it smells good and I think I can rock it, I'm on it. Like, um, I really don't too much. I don't see uh, gender in too many fragrances nowadays, unless it's like blatantly, like you know, like oh, this is obviously for a woman or something. Woman. But yeah, I'm so, gonna tell um, you one. Yeah, my first like, 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 my first like really, really like feminine leaning, uh, uh, John, uh, was Sicily actually. And you see the dinner now. You I, think so? I really love. I this. like Sicily. Yeah, I, it's a little I like feminine though, lot. but I okay. love it. I think it's a masterpiece from Mancera. It's really, really okay. good. Okay. Wow, man. And that's the you don't that's, think that's it, gonna be my. You don't, my think lean, you don't think it leans a little feminine? 
Um, when I smelled it, I smelled it. it you know, I, I was able to get my nose on it at the mall, and I don't really remember it being like to the point where I wouldn't get a full bottle of it. When I smelled it, I said, I'm getting a full bottle of this. I was so, you know, so I was like, you know, for me, um, I'm 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 starting to get away from that saying things are too feminine for me. Or like sometimes you gotta put it on your skin, bro. Yeah. And and go out in public and, and just wear it. You know, uh people gonna see your image and see you before they smell you. So if you presenting yourself right and you carrying yourself a certain way and you and you walk, you know, walking with you know confidence, you just gonna be smelling good to them, you know. So I had to step away from oh man, that's too feminine leaning. No, sometimes I had to say, you know what, put it on scan first. I agree though. Give it a full. Hey, let's get them likes up. Ooh, we got 15 people here. Let's let's get them. Well, I can't see for some reason on stream now you can't see the likes, but if you're in here, man, just, smash the like button. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do the same thing. If you're in here, man, smash the like button. Um, if you got some man Sarah Fragrances, drop them in the comment section. But before let's you do that. Let it's everybody know you said it today, man. Uh, he said, Yeah, sister isn't pearl feminine. Yeah, man, listen, pearl. <laughs> I, I know you said pearls. Why? Man. Listen, I don't listen. Yeah, if you like, like pearl, hey, <laughs> power to you, man. But I could not, and it's sitting right there. I need to grab it too. I could not get with it, bro. I just couldn't, bro. I really tried to like it. It was just too feminine for me, man. Uh, too floor heavy, just too. It was too feminine for me, man. But listen, everybody coming in here, man, smash the like button. Uh, let us know y'all sent it the days, what you wore today. Uh, and also, if you got some man serials, man, drop them in the comment section, bro, because me and, me and Sally getting ready to get into our man serials fragrances here in a little bit. But uh, I want to know some of y'all man serials that y'all have, bro, because man serials is a house that got so many fragrances. And there's a lot I haven't smelled yet, man. I know there's some that I have. But there's a lot out there, like Hindu Kush. I haven't put my nose on. I need to put my nose on that. Sahara mm. Wind. I still haven't smelled uh, that. Black either. Vanilla, I, I want to put my nose on. So those are just the name of a few, man. But let me get, let me grab Pearl real quick so I can speak about that one as well. Hey, hey, Stella, you want to uh, you want to go off on your first one from man, sir, that you want to speak about that maybe the audience may or may not have put their nose on? What you say, bro? I, I said, did uh, you, you want to go ahead and roll off your first bit? I'm here. Yeah, I hear you perfectly fine. My fault. I'm just setting on the camera. Yeah, uh, I said, you want, you want me to, to uh, get it okay, to so first man, Sarah? Uh, my first ever man, Sarah? You want to do that? You want to start there? Yeah, walk us through Walk uh, us through until okay. you get into the house of man, Sarah, your first one. Uh, like I, I stated in like previous uh, uh, live uh, I think or, or videos that uh when I first wanted to uh dive into some niche niche things uh man Sarah was the uh one of my first niche fragrances and it was actually uh oud Vini that was um my first okay. man Sarah do you have this one Tazo I don't but I think I have a sample of that one Shelly let me let me. I think I got a sample of that, bro. So to me, um, yeah, well, smell the sample with me. I'm take you down this path real quick. I do. It's right here. It's right here, bro. Oh, okay. You got it. Let's go. All right. Yo, so what so I get from let, this? Get my is this you got some tesla uh, trips. I gotta grab some. Mm, let me go do that. Right. I'm gonna go do that. Right Grab you some Tetris, bro. You don't want to be spraying all that on your uh, arm and hand today, bro. But uh, so Sally, first one is going to be uh, from the house of Mansara. It's going to be the Aou Vanille. If any of you are familiar with this one, uh, one in the chat. If you are, two in the chat. Um, if you like it, one if you like it, two if you don't like it. All right, and let, and let us know why. One if you like it and tell us why, and two if you don't like it and tell us why. All right, so you want to go ahead and speak about Iou Vanille? That's one I don't have a full bottle of, but I do have a sample. I do have a sample of that, man. So I'll let you know what I feel about it when you uh, walk us through how you feel. All right, so. Let me get one of these tissues. Sure, because I ain't got it. <laughs> All right, so. 
Ooh, the knee, man. I think it's a really, really. That was solid. the first one, right? This is my. This in Sicily was my first two, so I guess. Oh, so you got my first two. Mm -hmm. Man, this is a solid vanilla fragrance. I think it's it's underrated. I get a like overall, bro. This is what I smell. I smell like a smoky, like a vanilla root beer float in a way, some kind of way. Very, very. Some people like to okay. say uh, burning marshmallows, but I, nice. I don't get uh, marshmallow smell. I get like a smoky vanilla root beer float kind of vibe. Uh, right. That's I like the way you described that. Do you smell That's that? Like you get that vanilla, but you also get like, like, like you said, a smokiness or a darkness to this vanilla. Almost, mm -hmm. it almost gives you vibes like an ani a little bit. How yeah, ani has that vanilla, that creamy vanilla, but it's it's also some smokiness to it. Mm -hmm. This is really nice. I would compare it to Ani, would you? Ah, you know how I feel no? about that Ani, man. I mean, uh, not in quality wise, yeah. but it, like, yeah. As far as like, like a little brother to Ani, if you if you couldn't afford Ani, you probably could yeah. pass with this one. Yeah, I think that this is just a little bit more, way a lot more smokier than Ani, and it has that ooh in the background. I would say this is more closer to Virtus than it is Ani. The Virtus, Virtus of a uh, but no, oh, really? ooh, I think so because uh the smokiness in here and um it has like an oriental vibe. This doesn't this I wouldn't say this is gourmand, I would not put this in the gourmand no. category. Mm -mm. But this is a great it's too much smoke. Uh, I would say this is would you say unisex? I feel oh, like yeah. a lady can unisex put it, lean and masculine, yeah. I, I would say unisex lean and masculine for sure. And man, when I first got this, bro, I was like I thought I was killing it, man. I thought I was killing it, bro. Oh, how you getting? How, how, how? What kind of performance you get out there? For you? Oh, this is beast mode. This is beast mode. Typical man, Sarah beast mode. I'm definitely getting minimum eight hours, bro. Eight hours, and I think I'm okay. lowballing it right there. You know, okay. how, what season uh, you wearing that one in? Which what season? Uh, this is definitely uh, spring nights or uh, winter time. And maybe summer nights depends on how 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 hot it is. It can't get really hot in Philly on summer nights, but I know it's not as hot as hot where where you at Virginia. What's no. what season? Would it's you wear not hot summer? down here, but it's starting to warm up. Uh, what I wear this? What I wear vanilla in the summertime? Mm, no, it's too dark. It for gotta me. be a summer night. Yeah, it, it's too dark. Yeah. If I'm wearing this, it's going to be summer night indoor setting. Indoor setting. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, air yeah, conditioning setting, right? Totally agree. All right, so that was that was your entry fragrance into the house of Mancera, right? What would you rate? What would you rate this off of? Out of ten. You know, what would you rate this off of your? Uh, I rated a solid yeah. eight, bro. You hear me? I rated a solid eight. Eight, right on the nose. This is eight. Yep. This is not eight, a bad right fragrance. This I is definitely right. But I would say if you for good. the people, because you got some people who are not into the vanilla fragrances right now. Some people are just done with them. But if you don't have this fragrance mm -hmm. and you do like vanilla, this is a good vanilla fragrance to have. Yeah, it is. This nice is a good price vanilla. point. So I rate that out of 10. I rated an eight. Sally said he rated an eight. And that was Sally um entry fragrance into the house of Mancera. All right, so we're gonna get into my entry fragrance, my entry fragrance into the house of Mancera. And mine's my first fragrance was black gold. Mm -hmm. This was my first fragrance to introduce me to the house of Mancera, y'all. That was your first and one. Man, okay. That was my first one, bro. This was my first one, and I was very pleased because. I would, you know, I, I had so many other fragrances. This was the first fragrance that I bought in general when it came to my collection that smelled nothing like everything else I had. Right. Mm. Let me get, let me get this on a test strip. Um, it is different. This is one that grew on me. I, initially, when I first smelled it, I was like, ah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's it's grown on me a little bit more as time has uh, gone. Mm. gone I love it from first sniff. Yeah, a lot it's of very like you, you you get a ooh present in this. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh it has some powderiness to this fragrance. It's very masculine, bro. Ladies, 
This one ain't for y'all. This is a man's fragrance. Lavender in here. Uh, and the oud in here is very well done, bro. It's a very nice oud based fragrance. It's like this. Um, clean, so it lavender. got a clean, it got a clean feel to it. Uh, this to mm -hmm. me, this gives me like, like, like a biker boy uh feel, right? Like, like leather jacket feel, um, mm -hmm. suit feel. Like this is a very dressed up fragrance. Like, look at the bottle. The bottle lets you know, like, black gold. The name black gold. This is a suit and tie fragrance. This is a leather jacket, leather coat. This is a a businessman, a serious man. This ain't no this ain't no little boy fragrance, bro. Yeah. This is this a man is who, who a very mature man, a serious man, well groomed. Uh, I almost want to say like, you know, when I when I think about this DNA and how strong, not strong, but like how bold it is, very bold and it's well rounded. Like this is this is to me like um. When I think about this DNA, is it cinnamon? Like, Any cinnamon in here? Because I I thought that's what I usually get. I used to get a lot of lavender and cinnamon, and that had kind of turned me off when, when I first got. So it. you said it grew onto you? Yeah, it grew, it grew on me. Out of all my main series, though, if I had to rank rank them, honestly, I you think you got gold, lavender, you got cinnamon in here. Yeah, you got I leather, like, food. Like, you got some citrus in here. Yeah, definitely. I always yeah, you do yeah, you do get that, that lavender, lavender feel because that lavender yeah. gives you like that smooth, calming uh scent to this to this uh feel to this fragrance. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you do get that leather. That's why I say that the leather core really gives me like that. It it puts me in the mindset of like a, a badass, right? Like a serious dude who walks around, he don't smile. You know, he yeah. came he came into the he came into the building, but he smelled great, but he's serious. Right, like you know how your boss walk in, or I don't like to say boss, but the the owner of the company yeah. walk in, he ain't got much to say. This is what this fragrance does. It speaks for itself. You don't got to say much. This fragrance speaks for itself. Mm. Very, very nice, man. But that was my entry fragrance into the house of Mancera, y'all. Black gold, and when I when I sprayed this, I just couldn't believe. Like <laughs> to me, it was like wow. There's so there was there's so many uh, like different fragrances out there right because a lot of yes. you know sometimes you feel like when you're buying fragrances especially when you uh get, you have a small collection you're not really like collecting as much but you just buying as you like christmas or birthdays you'll buy a fragrance but when mm -hmm. i started collecting yeah uh, here we go with this <laughs> it looks like telling come me. on siri, siri, <laughs> siri blowing it sometimes <laughs> when i started collecting right bro i was like yo i couldn't believe there was like different how different some fragrances can be, right? Because I was getting a lot of the one millions when I started collecting the the uh, mm -hmm. Dior Sauvages. It's a lot of you know a lot of fragrances with the same similar notes and things of that nature. Yeah. But when I bought this one, this one had oud, leather, uh, citruses, cinnamon. So I was like, I was blown away, bro. So that's what really made me started looking more and more into the House of Mancera. So I want to say I appreciate this black gold fragrance, man. This was my first purchase. Into the house of uh, Mancera, man. Now, what was your was Mancera one of your first niche niche purchases? What was your first um, introduction to niche? I want to say yes, bro. I want to say yes yeah. for the longest, bro. I didn't have any, uh, I you know, I didn't have any Zerjals or anything like that, bro. I want to say Mancera was probably like one of my first niche houses, bro. Seriously, mm -hmm. if I can remember correctly, it's been a while, bro. Right. I've been collecting, uh, like I said, I've always bought fragrances and, you know, but I've been collecting it for about three years now, right? Okay. So uh, I can't really remember back then what uh, first niche, but um, yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. I want to say Mancera. Yeah, yeah, so, all right, so as you got into the house of uh, Mancera, Sally, let me know, like, you know, what's one of the next fragrances that, that really, like, you know, took you took you for a spam, bro, and you said, you know what, I'm going to start keeping you know, purchasing from this house. Okay. Um, so they're in the, taking another direction. Y'all smash the like button, man. Smash the like button. Me and Sully got some bangers tonight, y'all. Okay, so early in my uh, man Sarah phase, this was another one that I purchased very early on, probably my first five man series. That is Instant Crush. Man, this right here, guys. This, whew. 
And if y'all got these at home, smell, smell them with us, guys. Y'all got it. It took me a while to get that one. Man, it this took is me a while like to get that one. The white florals, the saffron. It gives you that Baccarat Rouge feel, 540 right. feel. But I honestly, I prefer this more, man. I really do prefer this more. This last, this, you know what was crazy about Instacrush? Like, it's a hot, I get compliments when I wear this one too. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but yeah. women love it, oh, yeah. bro. This is this is a compliment magnet for real. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you know what's crazy about Instant Crush? It's like it's like a soft smell, but it's so strong. Like it's it really, is really right. So That's strong. I like the way you put that. Because when you smell it on a tester strip, or even on you when you spray it on clothes, you would think mm -hmm. like this ain't really projecting like that, right? No, but then when you go beside someone or hug someone say i get compliments most of my compliments come when i give hugs right mm -hmm. i don't know about everybody else like when when i give hugs that's why i like to spray my shoulders and the back of my necks and stuff like because that's when, when you give hugs when you know people come in and they smell you right mm -hmm. and this is one that when they get a whiff of this they can't help but it say you smell good that's the crush man the name says mm -hmm. it all man this is an uh, instant crush. <laughs> like it seriously, is. I'm trying to pull the notes as we as you break it down. Um, it's just, I love the sweetness about it. It's the very sweet. Nice it definitely sweet. takes from that baccarat DNA. It ain't mm -hmm. no question about that. No question about it. But I do prefer this over baccarat, man. I call this the baccarat killer. Like, okay, it, it has it has Moroccan rose in here. Mm. Got some ginger in here. Some burnt. Some mandarin. Definitely get a lot of the ginger and mandarin. Mm. It took me a while to get this one due to the fact that, like, I felt like I didn't it was gonna be, it Yeah, I understand. I feel like it was going to be redundant to have mm -hmm. another Baccarat-style fragrance in my collection. But because I already had the Al Hermain, right? The Al mm -hmm. Rouge. Yeah, uh, that thing is strong. That's a strong and that's one. A, that's I another that one, one for my bro. mom. She loves that. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is very good, man. Um, but when I picked it up, I was like, man, I've been missing out. I should have been grabbed this one, right? Um, because this one is to me instant crush resembles the Baccarat 540 EDP mm -hmm. old lip straight, right? I think now, it's just there, more florals in here. I don't know it, if you have more floral. floral. Yeah, it's more florals. It has Moroccan rose in here. Um, you know what this is one of the more smells like. Man, I don't. I haven't really met Look, people who I, didn't. Like it. It's back or us. No, not not many. Yeah, you know what Bakura smells like. You ever you know the uh, the orange uh, titty roll? You remember the titty rolls? The like the tag. Oh yeah, yeah. The orange tip, and they get like roll. the blue one. That's that's. Now, you yeah. take the orange. Yeah, they got all different flavors: chocolate, whatever. You take that orange titty roll, you melt it in a pot, you let it caramelize a little bit. That's exactly what Baccarat Rouge smells like to me. Yeah. All right. So, man, Sarah is, is a fan favorite. If you it's a fan favorite. Y'all look at the chat. Titty roll. Hey, Dr. Banner said Instant Crush is better than Baccarat 540. To his nose. Wow. I'm with Dame him. said I Instant said Crush is fire. It's better. I okay. call it. I call it the 540 killer. Just the 540 killer. All right. So listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you another one that I end up picking up right early on into my man Sarah journey that just blew me. Right. And it was this one. This one was probably like my second. I want to say like my second pickup for man Sarah looking at my fragrances. Uh, and it's this one right here, y'all. Y'all heard about this one. Ooh, lemon mint. Ooh, lemon mint, bro. Um, this is actually my second bottle. I end up Bang selling the first one, bro, because I'm gonna tell y'all something. And if y'all let me know when the it's second, y'all feel the same. Oh, I'm about to say, no, I, I know I sold the first one. I'm gonna tell y'all why I sold the first one, and y'all let me know in the chat if y'all feel the same way. I felt like this was very, this DNA was very close to the Dolce and Gabbana Luminous Night, and I had Luminous Night. Do y'all were anybody in the chat? Y'all let me know that. if y'all feel the same way. I had Luminous Night and I was wearing that one more than uh Ooh Lemon Mint. 
It's, it had like that same like. Let me get this on the Tetris. It had that I'm same. Uh, that's it. That's a good one, bro. Let, uh, oops. Uh, Luminous Night. Uh, from Do Dolce and Gabbana. Peace. That one is it's like it's, mm -hmm. I think it's discontinued, bro. So they like jack the price up on that one. It has to be rose in here. This is like very powdery. This is one that is like, like floor touch, um, clean. It's almost it's a different oh like it's mm. this almost smells it's, like like I don't get no lemon in it. It's like lemon mint. It's like You said you don't it get gives me like almost a cotton candy kind of feel in a way. Like it's, I don't get like I get like a freshness, but not like blatant. I mint. definitely get a freshness. I mean, mm -hmm. I can get with the lint. Come, I don't get a mint vibe. Maybe when they put mint in it, they was talking about cool and fresh. I get why they say mint, but I I don't think it's it, definitely cooling. Yes, yeah, I agree. It gives cooling. Totally agree. And like, if you wanted to, you really could smell. It does give like a like a the lint. Excuse me, the lemon feel, the lemon mint feel. I want to say it's more so like a cooling. Like I play. I mean, I, I do kind of get a lemon feel, bro. Let me see. Let me put it. Uh, I do. I do get a lemon in here, bro. Yeah, I get. I get. I get kind of a I lemon get like a feel, cooling. Not the mint. Lint. I, I, the I get like a, a a cooling lemon, bro. Feel. Definitely a fresh. Cool Get the and lemon creamy fragrant. almond. Um, all right, it has lemon, almond, black pepper, coriander, oud, patchouli, jasmine. Oh, it does have mint. That's in why there. they say mint? Okay, and vanilla white. So mm -hmm. the base notes are kind of creamy. Yeah, this oh, this God. one is a good one, man. I know y'all are familiar uh, and it with has lemon, amber. Uh, lemon mint. Another fan favorite. This was probably like I said, I want to say like my second purchase from the house. Bro. That, the, the almond in this really popped though. The lemon, the lemon and the almond really pops. And I, I'm gonna say this too. I, I don't think I ever paid over a hundred bucks for any Mancera. I think all my Mancera yeah, except a good red one. tobacco. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I paid over I think I paid about a hundred bucks this for this. And this is another one that is like really strong, man. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely pulling this off in the spring, even in summer. Uh, I paid, I think, I paid a hundred for off in intense. Summer. For which one? I paid a hundred for intense to drop. Was it okay? Okay, hey, Tazo, from my, from, from my memory, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you kind of got like a, a delay though. Hello, can you hear me, bro? I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. It's lagging. This. This yeah, I see. You kind of got like a delay, but yeah, that's that's that was like my second fragrance into the house of man, Sarah, man. So I'm gonna we're gonna continue to dive into these different fragrances. Uh, Sully, but yeah, uh, pick up another one, man. Yeah, it's like a delay. Oh, forget it. Oh, I forget about intense and drop buzz. Oh, she all right. Let's let's, let's uh, get into another one, Sully. Like one of your, you know, your, your next pickup from okay, uh, so, man, Sarah. Uh, Who was at the oh this is a one that was uh this is a wave musk do you oh, have this I one? That one. I'm gonna have to get the notes pulled up for wave this musk. This is this very green uh musky salty kind of like sea kind of feel. I don't know if you want to say marine or get like this grass. This green grass, uh, mm. saltiness to it. Oh, uh, I like the notes though. Yeah, it's, it's mm -hmm. grapefruit. It's like a, it's kind of it's mm -hmm. black it's, current. It's, it has this, notes, um, synthetic salt. smell to it, but but that's it's a good synthetic kind of smell to it. See, you got seaweed in here. I too. think this is better on. Yeah, this is better in the air than smelling it up close, in my opinion. If you smell this up close, mm -hmm. it could be a turn off to some. I'm not gonna lie, Sully. But in I the see air, the it's it's a nice it's a, it has a nice feel to it. Sully, I'm not gonna lie. When I see the note of grass, I don't know why is this thing lagging. Yeah, it's not lagging on my end. 
You good? But, when I see the note of grass and I see seaweed yeah, in here, it, it's kind of it's kind of telling me I don't know, bro. But you said you like it, right? Hey, uh, it's it's not my most favorite, man. Sarah, it's not. Um, okay. Like I said, up close, nah, I don't. But in the air, it's it smells better. So when you it's say in too, the air, you, you mean like on the a, uh, too much of the synthetic side? Sea eyes, yeah, okay. like not like spraying it and then going like this, like just the bubble right. that it'll it's put around some, you. Okay, it's simple. Summertime, it is, it. It's okay. It's not my it's not my favorite, man. Sarah, though, it's not my favorite. It's very green, uh, musky. You know. Uh, um salty has the salty feel i don't like too much salt like a salty feel in fragrances and this is borderline right. almost mm -hmm. too much okay so yeah like if i had to rank this one out of ten wave musk is about a seven it's about a seven for me wave musk mm. what season you run at does anybody in the chat have wave wave musk with the chat saying around that that's all summer uh, work. Not many it's people. Summer summer. Speaking of that one, I don't think that one is too popular. Official mail said I plan on getting a lemon mint aou and one more man sir Fred. Which other Fred would be best to pick up? I'm gonna tell you which the next one to pick up, bro. I'm gonna go into the next one that I started to get my hands on from the house. If you don't have it, you need to have it. If you're gonna have a man Sarah, and if you only had to have one, it gotta be intense. Cedric Boise, oh see drop, uh Boise, bro. This it to me. A banger of man, a I, man, listen, bro. Man. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you like <laughs> lemon, <laughs> if you like dial, <laughs> it's so this is it's so good it's stuff, so it's so bro. It's it's so good, man. Like this is one of the ones. Man, I was people. talking. I was asking my dad about this earlier, man. <laughs> It's a high, it's a highly complimented fragrance, bro. Like it's it's in the, the same that, line that, that, of that as, citrus note is very, very nice. I want to yes. say it's it's lemon though, bro. Let me let me pull it up right now. I want to say it's lemon. Yep. Oh, it's a Sicilian citruses. So it's a bunch of them. It's you got some lemon, some limes, some orange, mm -hmm. or mandarin orange. You got some spices in here, leather, sandalwood, oud, patchouli leaf, jasmine, ambergris, oak moss. It's a very, very mm. sexy, signature scent worthy fragrance, bro. This is an everyday, often scent, truck drive, whoever you are, blue collar, doctor, who this is any man can pull this off, bro. Right? You get you get so many different citrus in here. You got leather, you got sandalwood. It's a very, very sexy, highly complimented. It projects, it lasts. You will get noticed. You will feel confident wearing this. Mm -hmm. If you only can have one man, Sarah, and since Cedro Boise is yes. a winner, bro. I agree. Very if clean you only have citrus. One, it doesn't be the smell one right super. There. Huh? Let me get this. No, I said I agree. If it was only it's one so man, man, Sarah to have. This stuff's so if, potent, if bro. I can really Sarah? smell it at the atomizement. All right, look at look yes, at the look at the uh, the pressurized atomizer on this one. It's very. I just strong. love this one. I, man, I love the leather in here, the oak moss, and that that citrus note oh overall. God, it's kind of like like you said. So... Yes, it's good. Like you said, the um. Oh, yeah, you do get like that leather for sure. It's almost like a lemon vibe. Right. The, uh, the it's like a juicy overall, lemon. Bro. It's like a candy Fresh lemon in a way. In the yeah, oak. like a sweet. Candy lemon in a way is very good. Oh my god! Like, like, wow. like, like, you know that you know them you know them hospital lemon candies they give you. Oh my god! This is good. And then the leather is yeah. playing such a background position that it doesn't interfere with the citrus, the citruses really and the good. fragrance, right? So when you smell this, you're not going to say, "Oh, that's a leather based fragrance." Mm -hmm. You got to really get, you got to really put your nose to this atomizer or to a tester strip. To really pick up these different accords, these different notes. But when you spray this on your clothes or and on your skin, you're gonna smell that sit them, them citrus just playing, playing with one another, right? And it just does a well, it does a very good job, bro. It's very clean, mm -hmm. right? This is the white t-shirt approved. This is a white button up. This is fresh out the barber chair. 
right? If I'm a barber, bro, if you a barber out there, you need to have Cedroit, intense Cedroit Boise on your counter. And every time one of your customers finish, you finish up one of their cuts, yeah, you need to be asking them, yo, what? can I spray you down? This would be I, the perfect walk out smell here. for after a cut, bro. After a this cut, is the bro. perfect smell for after a cut. Oh my god, it is, bro. It really is. Coming out the coming out the um the barber door, swing that barber door open, and you walk past folks and you go into your car and you like, man, that dude just got a fresh cut. Whoo, damn, you smell him? It smell like money. Oh yeah, he he on his way. He on his way. Mm-hmm. Yo, That's every, what this one of the ones. He I on his to way. The barber shop, right? Mm-hmm. I, every hey, time hey, I go hey, down damn, to my barber shop, I, I always bring some um damn, why you do me like that bro i always bring no, some uh fragrance fragrances down there with me and let my let my barber smell some of them damn, why you and do man like i think he really loved the uh that's a drop boise and uh black prestigium i believe he actually bought the black prestigium oh for real man listen a lot of people oh my God, yeah every time i a lot of people had told me that they they bought the black prestige because of me i want to say like nine out of ten people have told me they liked it, so you know I'm, I'm glad that I ain't steer mm-hmm. people wrong, right? Um, yeah, man. So, it's Sally, walk me through your next one, bro. Come on. All right, so my next one I is, came with uh, it. Okay, I should I should have put them in order from my least favorite to most, but it's okay. It's all good. Just grab and go. I'm gonna bro. talk about. I'm gonna talk about one that's um really not really talked about a lot. And this is Black Line. I'll call this um okay. Mr. Bond, James okay. Bond. Bro, Talk this is it. like this is like dark. This is a dark, mysterious, beautiful rose. It's like this dark leathery rose with these nice little uh spices. It has this like nice mild. Uh, subtle sweetness, but it's not like some, so you won't smell it and be like, it, oh, that's too sweet or something. It's like this nice, subtle sweetness. The leather in here is beautiful. This is like, this is a beautiful, dark uh, rose scent, bro. This is really good. I mean, when I got this, bro, I was, I was hype about when I got this, man. I was really hyped. This smells yeah. so good to me, bro. I've never heard this of that. One, one. one of the, uh, one of the best for man, sir, in my opinion. Black line, man. Black, this is uh, good. Black, okay. It honestly name reminded black me line? of Black Prestigium in a way, but if but if Black line, yeah, yeah. But if if Black Prestigium had like a uh, rose in there, man, this is good, guys. It's this dark, sexy, mysterious rose, man. Don't that just sound good, man? It is beautiful, man. right? This so is, that's that's more so date, line, man. This is this is it. Man. It can be date night, yes, for sure, hundred percent date night, man. This okay. is tuxedo. This is um, mm. man, this is this is nice, man. This is a sexy fragrance right here, bro. Sexy rose okay. fragrance. You have to, bro. People that don't like rose fragrances, you gotta give this a shot. It's not like something that's rosy. It smells more like um, like just a dark style of fragrance. Like that's what a person would perceive. Is there a fragrance say, out oh, there on like the market? Old lady that's... rose or something. Is there a fragrance out there on the market right now that you that can be compared to it slightly, if any? Mm. It gave me a feel really of what that's like. Not not one comes to my head. Okay. Mm. Mostly, uh, some man Sarah's probably. If you you know that man Sarah kind of style DNA, but other than that, no man, no. Like I said, it okay. has like when I all right. So I let my barber smell this the last time I went to the barber shop. Now mind you, uh, he had bought Black Prestigium a few weeks ago after I brought it through and let him smell it, and he smelled this and he said the same thing that I said when I first smelled it. He said it reminded him of Black Prestigium in a way, and I said I told him like, yo, that's exactly what I thought. When I first smelled it, but it just has this rose touch to it, man. That just it gives it a different pop and a different flair, man. It is really good, bro. This is a good one. This is a um to me, this is about an 8.5. 8.5, man. This is good. Okay. This is great for um 
winter, spring nights, um, dates. This could be a, a, a definitely a great office play. Right. This is one that's that's different, bro. It's it's different, man. If you wear this, is somebody's gonna um this is not your everyday smell that, that you smell on somebody. So somebody smell this, they're it's gonna pique their interest and they're gonna wanna know what is that. This is definitely one you need to try, Tazo. I highly recommend Black Line from SL. Okay, okay. So we're going to talk about the notes real quick. Shout out to Not So Famous YouTuber, aka Spence. Top notes of that fragrance, Black Line from Mancera. You get spicy notes, little notes are rose. Hold on, top note is spike. Hold on, now. I think he kind of got that. Let me, let me, I got to pull that right he here. Y'all. Pull the notes up too. All right, okay, yeah, he's right. My bad, I'm sorry. Spicy notes in the top notes, middle notes, you get rose, patchouli, leather, amber, base notes, you get. Gayak, gayak mm -hmm. wood, white musk, and standard wood. So, from looking at these notes, you get a spicy rose yep. leather fragrance. A spicy rose and leather fragrance. Uh, shut up. I'm Hope Tell. Yes, bro. All right. Okay. If okay. People, so, so, let me tell you uh, the next people, fragrance that really. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Yo, all right. I'm going to tell you about the next fragrance that, that really uh, piqued my interest. Um, that made me end up getting a full bottle of it. And uh, actually, I actually listed this fragrance in my top, I want to say it was my top five most complimented fragrance. I got a, uh, I got a pretty decent uh, compliment from this fragrance right here, y'all. This is Mancera's Silver Blue. All right, Silver Blue, people. Mm, this that's one, one I've been wanting to try, bro. I've been and wanting this, to try that. This is one, this is one that, I feel like it's their mass appealing uh, fragrance, right? So I'm going to pull up the notes on uh, Fragrantica and we're going to talk about it. See, to me, this is like their designer uh, gear, like a designer feel fragrance right here. So we're going to talk about the main accords. Well, not the main accords, the top notes. You get mm. spices, you get bergamot, caramel, amber, labnium. You get more amber in the base. You get precious woods in the base, patchouli, and oak moss. I'm going to tell you how I feel about this fragrance, right? This is a very, very sweet, like a candy. I don't, that, but I'm guessing the caramel in here because I don't see anything else that's giving it a sweet accord. But this is a very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. And you get that citrus in here, like that, uh, that bergamot is giving it that citrus feel, but it's very sweet and citrus. Oh my god, yeah, you got some woody tones to it. You get that woody, you get some precious woods in here that's giving it that woody tone. But this is a very sexy, mass appealing. I, this I is a club I, fragrance. I heard that. Oh, this is so good, y'all. It's good. Hey, listen, uh, Sally, you gotta get your nose on silver blue, bro. I gave my hey, home. Tazo, I'm gonna I'm switch over, I'm gonna switch over to my phone because this. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna tell you to do that, but I didn't want to do it in the midstream. Yeah, do that for me, bro. I'm, I'm gonna still talk delay. about this fragrance, though. Um, yeah, I gave my friend okay. his mother a hug while dropping him off, right? I'm gonna boot this one right here, Sally. I gave my friend mother a hug, right? Got his fragrance when I had his fragrance on. The next time I saw her, she told me, Taz, what was that fragrance you had on? Yo, this is much the better, way bro. Down the road, she said the whole way down the road, she was smelling her shirt like this. She kept smelling her shirt <laughs> because of the hug I gave her. And mind you, when I sprayed this on to drop him off to his mom's, right, it was like I just grabbed and sprayed. I didn't even think much of it. You know, mind yeah. you, I do like this fragrance, right? It's not like I was just grabbing it for no reason. It's one, it's a dumb grab. You know, if mm -hmm. you grab this fragrance, I heard you're gonna I, smell I heard good. That, that is similar to Poppy Lafico. It is. It now, is. Which one would you say is better? Um, I'm gonna say this, right? Now, since hold on, once since the uh the Michonne is probably more expensive, would you suggest people just go with the silver blue instead of that's the, what I was gonna tell you, but Nishan Nays. You can get listen, you can get Nishan Nays at a discounted price, right? Yeah, you can. You was to buy this brand new retail if they run Nishan, uh, excuse me, Man Sears retail at like 120, 180, like between 120 and 180, right? Mm 
Mm-hmm. Um, you can if you can get this at a discounted price, get it at a discounted price. But you can also get Nishanes at a very discounted price. Yeah. So what I'm gonna say is this, right? If you can get this under a hundred bucks, under under a hundred bucks, get it. Get it. It's very sexy, sweet, and citrus and woody, right? Mm-hmm. So you get the same thing with Popular Fico from Nishane. But me personally, I don't mind having both of them. Right. I'm not against some some people. Oh, I don't want fragrances that smell too much like in my every fragrance got a slight difference, right? And, and when I'm wearing it, like I'm not I'm not gonna lie, there are some fragrances that smell too much like like, but I like this one and I like popular fico. I'm not going to get rid of one or not get the other. I like both of them because I like the DNA that much, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this is a good one for man Sarah, bro. I, I smell it, popular fico in the in the mall, so I can imagine how good that is then because I, I really did like popular fico. But with this one, uh, sell it. I'm, I'm not gonna speak about that one right now because I don't have it. But with this one, you get a very sexy, sweet, citrus, woody fragrance, bro. Like the sweetness in here, it's not sickly sweet. It's not like ah, that's too much sweetness. When you smell it, it's just like it's gonna you're gonna want to like like you memorize from it how good it is, bro. Mesmerize, excuse me. It's very good, bro. I highly recommend you to grab that one. This is definitely for like. My in the club guys, my at the bar guys, my club hopping, bar hopping. I'm in the mix. I'm a flat guy. I'm doing my ones and twos. If you, if you a married man, this is probably not gonna be your speed, bro. Excuse me. It's not gonna be your speed. But this is my. I'm single. I'm in the mix. I'm in the bar. I'm in the club. Mm-hmm. I'm moving. I'm grooving. That's for y'all, man. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely gotta get your attention, I, bro. I definitely gotta uh smell that one for sure. I gotta get my nose on that. All right, so Sally, what would you rate that? What would you rate uh out of 10, bro? Three? For what this is worth, I'm rating that out of 10. I'm rating that 8.5. Mm, that's a good rating, bro. I'm rating the 8.5. I like that fragrance a lot, bro. That's one of my favorite ones. Like, that's one of the ones that I like it so much. I don't. I don't always put it on. Mm, I feel you. I, I want. I want to preserve it, right? Even yeah. though it's not super expensive, but when you, I feel like when you get your first bottle or something, I be want to like you know preserve it a little bit because it's my first. So that's just how I feel about it. But it's one of the ones, y'all. See, uh, Boxing Scent said, um, "What's up, Boxing Scent? You Sense? can get it for. You can get it for eighty eight bucks on FragranceBuy.ca." Uh, all right, go ahead, Sully. Okay, so let's see what I got next. All right, so ah, I'm gonna go with one that I know that we both have and that we uh, both enjoy. So this is one that it really uh, piqued my interest because I believe it was um, part of the same line as the uh, the Black Prestigium line. And that is a uh, gold prestigium. This is another one that is like what you say, uh, maybe a, like a clubbing style in a way. To me, it's like um, it's very like I get like a um, sweet ambery kind of uh, vibe. I don't know if it's uh, apple in here. I gotta pull up the notes on this one. This is like a very um. Nice sweet style of a fragrance. Let me pull up the um the notes on here. Okay, Danielle said it has it um at Joma Shop for 84. Okay, shout out to the chat for doing research for y'all, man. We got 26 live right now. Y'all hit okay, the like so button with, if you're not with gold precision. Like we get you get an apple, not apple, um pepper, bergamot, orange blossom. Uh, rose, vanilla, leather, white musk, and oak moss. Okay, okay. Them notes That's seem kind of weird to me. I don't know what you think. Let me put it up. Um, that's yeah. one of my favorite ones too. Yeah, that's one of my favorite ones. Um, I let me pull it up real quick. I'm gonna take the top off. Man, this, this one is one that get compliments too, bro. It really does. I had a, um, somebody compliment me on this one at uh, work a few weeks ago. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's get this on the strip. All right. 
Um, what I get? Oh, I don't wear the enough. I don't wear my men's Sarahs enough, y'all. I'm sorry. This is too good. <laughs> this is it's too good this is a fragrance I'm putting on when I want to feel like the boss, when I want to feel important, bro. This is this is suit. You know what I'm saying? It's when you put a suit on, bro. I know you said clubbing. Mm-hmm. You could. Yeah. I can, see, like... I can see you doing that because at the same time, the club, you want to you really want to make an impression. Mm-hmm. You really want your presence to be felt. But I do get rose in this. I get a powderiness. I was giving that powderiness. Yeah, slight mild powderiness. Maybe slight it's the white powdery, powdery rose. Uh, you do get a, a vanilla touch That's to this fragrance. Vanilla, yeah. Uh, citrus. Mm-hmm. You do get some citrus. I mean, this fragrance just shift gears. Like you're not just getting one. You get in different elements of it. You know, as it develops, you it, different things are are showing its head. Yeah. Now it says that it's oud in here, but I don't really get. I don't get a oud type. I don't get much oud, so don't let the oud. Uh, don't let the oud deter uh, you from you. trying this out. This I don't get a oud touch. Yeah, I get oud. a citrus, citrus, right. rose, powdery, vanilla, mm. and a white. I mean, you do get a darkness, That's like 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 a boldness to this fragrance. And I want to say, is this leather in here? It is leather in here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the leather is probably giving it like that slight dark f- turn to mm-hmm. this fragrance. Yeah. Masterpiece, y'all. It is good. It really is good. It really is. This is another one that grew on me more and more over time. This was another one. This is definitely uh, one that's worth sampling. Yeah, um, this that was to me. Go Prestigium is one of the ones that, like, I feel like I know Mansur has good quality, but I feel like Go Prestigium is like it's the word Prestigium. This is their prestige line, right? You yeah. know how Mansur has Mana, sh- uh, Shim, Nef. Yeah, that, is that what I said? You said you said uh, Mans Mansur. Oh my bad. You know how Nishan, they got their prestige line. They're top of the top. They're most expensive in mm-hmm. the line. To me, Mancera's gold prestigium and black prestigium and maybe even their pink prestigium. I haven't smelled a pink prestigium. Have you? No. I heard it was good, though. I haven't smelled that one. I've heard it was good, too, man. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I'm going to end up getting that one, too, man, because I heard that was a rose-based one. Let me see right it's hard to find. I think, it's, I think it was like a grape. I think it's some kind of grapefruit. Uh, Ooh, if it's grapefruit, uh, I like it. Yeah, I think it's some kind of uh, grapefruit. The vibe, pink bottle. Do- think. Okay, it's okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. The nose ain't too bad in this, bro. Is it grapefruit in it? It's grapefruit in here. Bulgarian rose, patchouli, jasmine, saffron, oo, bergamot. Pretty good. I egg wood. I'm, I'm, I'm getting that one, bro. That might be my next one. I'm sorry, I said uh, Cecilia. It might be gold prestigium, pink prestigium, bro. Pink prestigium, yeah. Yeah, I like the, I like the grapefruit, uh, the grapefruit note. All right, so um, man, the next one I'm gonna talk about. I'm sure people are waiting, like, man, when they gonna bring that one up? I'm about to bring it up. <laughs> Listen, bro. Um, What's that? I'm trying. To I want to tell. I want to tell y'all the next one that we're gonna speak about. It's either you love it or you hate it. A lot of y'all hate it. But me, I love it, bro. And this is no other than red tobacco. That's one I don't have, bro. Red, wow. Terrence O'Neill, what's up, brother? Wow, Ooh. send of the days of hard second soul. Okay. Shout out to Terrence O'Neill. What's up, BT Sent? Shout out to BT. Shout out to A Boxing lot of people Sense. do not like this fragrance. They say it's too sharp, it's too cinnamon, too spicy. Listen. This is a fragrance, bro. You will be surprised that women like this one. Women compliment me on this one, bro. Right? Because women, yes, but people say, oh, women like this on you, women like that. It depends. It's all about you for one. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, something that's different. Oh, I never smelled a man that smell like that, right? Red tobacco to me is a very spicy. I'm gonna get the notes pulled up in just a minute, bro. 
Very spicy. Cinnamon. Tobacco. I don't see how people don't like this, bro. I really don't like. To me, it's like it's it's too good, man. Now, when I smelt it in the, um, I get a Coca Cola vibe in the beginning. Yeah, when I smelt it in the mall, uh, that video when I was with my uh, girlfriend, uh, we we didn't really care for it too much. I, I, I it didn't smell bad, but I felt as though it was like more for an older gentleman. I, I when I smelt it, okay. it, it honestly reminded me of my grandfather. Something my grandfather <laughs> would wear. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you something, bro. In the dry down of this fragrance, I get a lot of vanilla. Mm. Y'all, let me know if I'm wrong in the chat. When this fragrance dries down, I get a lot of vanilla, bro. It becomes very creamy, bro. Mm. I have to get a sample so I could get the full experience. You know, when I was it's, just, it's, I was just smelling stuff, and you know, it's one of them ones, bro. You gotta allow it to dry down. You gotta allow it to cook up. Okay, right. It's like eating goat. And in this, you like, man, this is real, like wild and gamey. Mm -hmm. After a while, you like, okay, it's decent. Like this, is how that fragrance is. Like this fragrance is one of the ones you got to be patient with it. Be patient. Mm -hmm. Allow that dry down. That 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 opening because that opening in the beginning, it's like whoa, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like whoa, but when it dries down, like, look at the notes in here. You get cinnamon, ooh, incense, saffron, nutmeg, green apple, white pear, middle notes, patchouli, jasmine. In the base, you get t a tobacco, Madagascar vanilla. I like that vanilla too. I've been yeah. noticing a lot of the fragrances that I like that vanilla. Have the Madagascar yeah. vanilla. Do you Amber, all, have you smelled the the new one, the intense? I'm glad Tamara, you brought that up. Tamara said the intense is much more smoother, and that's what I, I heard got, from other people. The, I got the uh the sample of the red tobacco intense. Hey, now I will say this, right? You gotta spray it now since we're doing it. I'm gonna spray, spray it for y'all. You got to, bro. right? You gotta tell us the difference. I don't got a full bottle, but that don't mean a decant won't won't Man, work, right? Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna spray. I didn't spray the uh the EDP, which to me, the EDP is louder than the intense. Yeah, that's what I heard. And when I say so louder, it, I mean would you say that, more. The, the intense is more wearable, though. That's what it's the intense. Right. The intense is definitely more wearable. Um, it's softer. They toned it down. They toned the spices down. They toned the opening. Like in the opening, you don't go like this when you smell it. You kind of like okay. Mm -hmm. The tobacco is very nice in here. Um, to me, if they would have did the intense first and then labeled the EDP the intense, yeah, red tobacco so wouldn't have such a bad rep. It should be flip flop. Basically. It should be flip. It okay. should be flip. Um, they 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 did bad with um a title those two right, but this one is a lot more easier for the average person. Excuse me, y'all. I'm, I'm dealing with it. Allergy season, y'all. This one is a lot more easier on the average nose. This one, the cinnamon is toned back some. Uh, the tobacco is 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 very well uh, balanced. Mm -hmm. Um, the different like you get like the, the apple in here. You do get apple in here. It's a lot smoother, right? This is something that uh, like, even with the red tobacco. Tobacco intense. I do get what you're saying. It's for like the older the older crowd, right? But it's one of the ones, man. Like if you feel confident enough, you can pull it off. And that's a lot of yeah. a lot of fragrances, bro. Right. Um. But red tobacco intense is definitely the easier fragrance to wear out of the two. But personally, I find I find value in both of them, mm. and I feel like both of them are worthy of having in your collection. Now, if you if you recommend it, if it's, if you used to recommend one to somebody, just one, which one would you recommend? The intense. The intense, okay. Yeah, because I I'm I'm already knowing people are going to smell this and be like, oh, that's not, you know. Yeah. I'm already knowing that, bro. So I'm not going to tell them to go the intense route. The only people I would say go the intense route are people who already have a, have a, a collection, mm -hmm. right? And who like different, like who like loud fragrances. Cause you're going to be loud. Mm, mm. And, yeah, intense is intense is loud, bro. It's like it's like a, 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 a Dior Sivaji elixir. 
you spray that too many times, you're gonna clear a building. Yeah. Right? Looks- so that's why I say um oh. and some people like you don't want to recommend something to somebody and then they overspray it and it's a bad experience. Mm-hmm. You know, intense, you're not gonna have that problem. So I will say the intense is definitely uh I, I don't even think the intense is getting a lot of love due to the fact that the uh the EDP has so much uh you know so much heat, man. So yeah, intense is definitely good though by itself. Yeah, I gotta um, I gotta definitely get me a sample of the intense. Matter of fact, both of them because I didn't get a full experience when I smelled it in the mall. You know, just smelling it and move on to the next one. But yeah, man, right. that's a that's one that I, I honestly I should have been 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 gotten it. I don't know why because that's one of the more popular ones for me and Sarah. So I've definitely been sleeping on that one for sure. All right, now, 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 walk me to your next one, bro. Because we, we still got, we got man series to go. <laughs> I got one coming up next, and y'all gonna want to talk about this. All one. right, this is one that I really, really don't hear uh, nobody talk about. Besides, uh, what's that guy channel name? Uh, Centrugal Force, the uh, army guy, ball head guy. I love his. Okay, channel. okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I know you're man, talking about. I love his channel, man. Yeah, shout out to him, uh, man. Shout uh, out to him. Jasmine exclusive. Okay. Man, this, this is not for the faint of heart, man. This is the yeah. jasmine in the hair is so like raw and um it's very, very in and Oh man. It, it has the jasmine, this uh leathery notes, um some kind of like spice to it. I gotta pull up the notes on this, but overall, I, this is one that is like really, really hard to like explain. Man, it's just like how I like to describe this. It smells like um, like if you had a doctor's office, you know, when doctors wash their hands with that that doctor soap. It yeah. smells like that, but with like these leathery dark touches, um, mixed in with it. So if you could picture that with like uh leathery dark facets to it that is kind of that's the best way i can kind of give you a um description on this i'm looking at the notes i don't know if that is that's going to diminish how it how it sounds but i like this man yeah this is but you have to send i don't think this will be for everybody man but this is like this is like like niche like niche niche stuff right here this is um yeah, man, this is niche through and through, man. This is not no, yeah, it's sample. People out there sample, you might love it or you might hate it. Me, all right, so I'm it. looking at the notes right now, Sally, and don't look like something I will be interested not, not in. Jardine. It's, it's Jasmine exclusive, not it's not, Jasmine. Yeah, I, yeah. Thought, I thought the same thing the first time you mentioned the other live. Yeah. The jasmine. top notes you get spices, bergamot, middle notes you get Egyptian jasmine, you get oud, you get leather and patchouli. Base notes you get more jasmine, sandalwood, labium, and vanilla pod. Man, okay, is- shout out to not so famous YouTuber, man. Mm-hmm. All right, bro. Um, personally, I take your word that it's a good fragrance, but looking at the notes, I don't know. So I might, I might pass that one up, bro. Mm-hmm. I, I like understand. Them. I would say give it a sample, man. You give it a sample. Okay, everything. sample it first. Give it yeah, that be, that, that's bro. wrong. The, the, yeah, you're right about that. I'm not going to do that. Give it a sample, bro. Give it a sample. Okay. Shout you out. Might, shout you, out uh, you might find this. You might love this, bro. You might love this. It's like one of the ones where it's like, it's weird, but it's just something about it's, it's, You can't it. believe you like it. You're like, wow, I like this one. Man, it's one that it's like, bro, like. Yeah, man, this is one that is, I think, out of all the Manceras, this is, like, one that is, like, outside of that whole Mancera kind of DNA. Okay. Like, if if I was blindfolded, like, blindfolded, and if I never smelled this, and I would never have guessed this was from Mancera. I would oh, never man. guess that. I would never okay. guess. But that's the thing about Mancera, though. All of their fragrances smell different. Yeah. They don't have a, they don't have... A uh, a signature DNA. Uh, I could, and some of them I could kind of get the like the, red tobacco the don't smell like vetiver sensual. Vetiver sensual no. don't smell like uh black prestige. Now there are some that do 
resemble, yeah. right? Like, mm -hmm. I would say, uh, Mancera Gold Prestigium ain't too far from Black Gold. Okay, yeah. Right, Black That's Gold ain't too far from Black Prestigium, low key, right? There are some that, okay, you know what I'm saying? But, all right, bro. So, I'm going to go to the one that probably is my, I, I juggle back and forth between this one and Gold Prestigium, my favorite Mancera. But I still think it's gold prestige on by a slight edge. But I'm still gonna bring it up. One of the Mancera's when I bought this one, it was my favorite fragrance in my collection for a long time, bro. And this is Mancera's Black Prestige. Hello. Black Prestige. Drum roll for Black Prestige. Listen, bro. That's me, hold on, y'all. Let me get it right. Man, when I bought this fragrance, what the longest? I wore this like every week. And listen, this is one. Do not overspray. And I tell you that oh, by man, experience. This thing punches through, don't it, bro? This man, thing. Black Prestigium will have you wishing you didn't even put it on, bro. I went mm -hmm. to my son's. I feel Ooh, like I'm feeling it right now. I always overspray this for some reason, bro. <laughs> no matter how hard I try, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, this one has orris root, patchouli, bergamot, rose, ooh, woodsy note, violet, leather, white musk, amber. Mm, mm, mm. You know what, bro? A lot of people, like people that I've met outside, they watch mm. me because of they smelled this on me, bro. So, and I'm being dead honest. I, at this least, is top 10 of my collection. At least 20 people subscribed to me because they smelt this on me and they wanted to know what it was and a conversation was started. This is this, this is, is a fragrance. When I go through my comment section, I still get comments about Black Prestige. And I and I did that video early in my YouTube uh mm -hmm. journey. I remember early. watching that. Yeah. I remember watching that. And shout out to Curly Sense, man. She actually was one of the Bigger YouTubers, bigger YouTubers who commented on my content early I think on. I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. Right. Shout out to Curly Sense. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm cutting up. But listen, this is one, right? It's powdery. If you don't like powdery fragrances, you're not going to like this one. Mm -hmm. It's very powdery. The rose mm -hmm. in this fragrance, it's, there's not a rose that's, it's just for this to be an entry level niche house. They did good on their rose note. Mm -hmm. Do the you rose, get that waxy rose. facet that that um it's like waxy, a little dry, um buttery almost. Um, yeah, I do get a buttery feel. Man, that is so beautiful. Creamy bro. feel, like a creamy. Yeah, it's like it's that orris oh. and the violet, man. They oh. mix so well together in this fragrance, bro. This is a this beautiful fragrance. earthy tone. Oh man, it is very beautiful. Oh my god. This is um it almost this is another one that like after a haircut, this almost like this could be one of like how you said it tends to drop boys, they could be one at a barber spray on you. I think this could be one too. Cause this almost has like a barbershoppy kind of smell in a way. Yeah, it has like that, it has like that face cream, yeah, you know, that yeah. face cream leave. Uh, so, yeah, you get that faster too, right? It has like a barber. It's so good, man. This can compete with a lot of niche. It really can, bro. I throw this against a lot of, you know. Mm -hmm. And listen, I'm gonna be real with you. This can compete. If and listen, if we was going on the street, going in the mall, whatever, uh, Sally, I would take Black Prestige and put him against Usad Moo, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. You. I'm sure there's a lot of people walking through the mall that would say Black Prestige smells better. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? No, I agree. Remember, I love Black Prestige, bro. It ain't nothing bad I could think about it. So I love it, bro. that's 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 given Mancera Black Prestige. Man, it's just yo, Dan, mm -hmm. you cutting up, Dan. I see you in the comment section, Dan. You cutting up, bro. Yeah, face cream, no diddy, no diddy. <laughs> <laughs> no diddy. They don't let me, they don't cut me no slack in the comment <laughs> section, bro. Well, bro, no <laughs> this is one of Mancera's best fragrances. There's no like they took their time, they actually wanted to put out a serious masterpiece. That's why. When people don't ever turn to show that man Sarah like they just an entry level fragrance. Oh, don't worry, you know. You, you if you got a man Sarah, you're doing good. 
bro. They they can really compete with the MFKs, the uh, the Zerjovs, and quality mm -hmm. and performance and uniqueness, versatility. Yeah. Like, don't don't turn your eye at Man Sarah, bro. They got Man, hitters. I'd rather buy a Man Sarah than any designer any day. Any day, bro. I will wear listen, bro. Come on, man. You gotta think about like I'm just looking at my collection right now, bro. Like all of these right here, just these, and I only got like 10. Full yeah, bottles. Jay, get you a full bottle of that black prestigium, man. That's I will put this bad. whole collection up against a lot of different houses, bro. So mm -hmm. that that says a lot. Yeah, man. But listen, black prestigium. I can't say gold is better or black is better. They're Man, both like I can't bangers. black is better. <laughs> you like black better to me? Yeah, I what? Let me see. This is one of the ones for me, bro. Yeah. Man. Well, listen, black is slightly better. If we're gonna say better, it's slight. Okay. It ain't by far. We'll say slightly better. So. Slight, yeah. For the people, <laughs> right? But listen, Stelly, throw me another one, bro. Pause. So you <laughs> but Dang, I know they ain't gonna cut up and comment. All right, since you did black prestigium before I got to it. Um did we ain't talk well, I mean we kind of talked about this, but we didn't. Uh that is Sicily. Would you consider what we said we talked about this, Sicily? Uh we talked about that like in between conversation, but that's another good one, bro. You want to go into it or you want to? Yeah, let's talk about it. I'm going to pull up the notes because I like this. I'm actually going to grab that one on my phone. This now. is a masterpiece, bro. It's just something about this, bro. It's like for this style, bro, of what it is, it's a masterpiece, bro. Man, it is just, it's this beautiful oh, synthetic smell, bro. It is really, really good, man. Beautiful uh, bouquet of like yellow florals. It is juicy, mouth watering. Man, this is just good, bro. And it has like this sh beautiful sharp bite to it, man. Now this I've heard good. people say the performance wasn't all the great on Sicily. Is that is that something that you that you had a problem with? Uh, if you're comparing it to other man Sarah's, I I would say so, but. Even though it's it's still good, yeah. So All right, citrus, oh, thank fragrance, you. So citrus fragrance, this is still nice, nice longevity. Hey, check, sure. And listen, bro, check out the notes in this. Mandarin I, orange, grapefruit, peach, I knew it was grapefruit, pineapple, bergamot, mm. apple. I mean, bro, you got a bro, you got a basket of fire fruits in the opening. Mm -hmm. Top note fusion. Middle notes, you got some uh some floral notes in the middle. You got jasmine, uh yang yang, yang violet and rose, yeah, and in the base, you got white musk and woody notes. Man, so this is a beautiful fragrance. I'm liking I'm liking all the different this uh, is for uh women citrus. so women can definitely pull this off for the ladies watching. I'm definitely getting ladies. that for this cover. Man, this I gotta is have it. beautiful. I gotta have it. Man, it's all so right. good. Bro. So for, for the people in the, in the comments, he said, Sissy lasts nine hours in the heat on me, no lie. All right, bro. Yeah, it's, definitely, it's, it's no slouch. There's no slouch at all, man. It's no slouch. I'm going to go into one that I blind bought. And, man, I was glad I blind bought it, right? I'm so <laughs> jealous. What's up, bro? I'm going to go to the one that a lot of people has been speaking about. And it's for a good reason, right? I know y'all heard people speaking about it. Sexy, clean, fresh, vetiver, sensual. That's one I've been wanting to try, bro. Hey, if you hey listen, Sally, you know I ain't gonna steal you wrong, bro. Get your nose on this one. I almost want to tell you blind by it because I know you're gonna like it. I know you is, bro. I'm gonna blind by it. You get a floor touch to this, clean, sensual. Anything you'll compare it to? That might give me uh, an idea. Yeah, you definitely yeah, you got a lot. You got a lot of what can I compare this to? Let me spray this on the Cheshire strip, bro. Let me see what I can compare this to. Not the dry, it's not like tear the Hermas or anything, is it? You know what I think this will remind you of a lot from what you explained when you spoke about that fragrance on your um your last video. I think this will remind you of Neo by Zerjov. Really? Okay. 
it has a very nice, realistic citrus uh, component to this fragrance. Okay. Oh, yeah, uh, it's very good. clean and bright, fresh. Oh, it almost like when you smell this, like as right, like right now, it's like an easy read. It's making my, it's making me really like, it's putting me in a the mindset of like a, a peeled, orange or lemon. I want to say a lemon, a peeled lemon, peel, and like like you said, the 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 oils from the inside of the the skin, bro. Mm. And you get like you said, you get it on your fingers. Yeah. Oh, man, no, <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> <laughs> no diddy, bro. That's what you get from this, bro. You get a realistic citrus vibe, a clean vibe, fresh, right? Brand new. This is only something I will wear when I got a brand new shirt on, mm. a brand new white tee, whatever the case may be. This is this is summertime for sure. Is it is it is a dumb reach kind of feel like easily, especially easily. for the summer, bro. Mm. Especially for the summer. Yeah, man, I got so, it. It's one of the well, ones. If y'all don't have that one, if you like citrus, if you like clean, fresh, bright fragrances, then you are going to like Vetiver Sensual. Don't be. Deterred by the vetiver in the name because a lot of people say I don't like earthy fragrances. I don't like. Yeah. This is more so of like a lot of men's cereals, Their names don't really suit their uh their fragrances. Like yeah. silver blue is not a blue fragrance. Right. Right. Um. You know what I'm saying? So. I feel uh, you on that. Sure. Vetiver, such a wild bro. Don't think vetiver. Think citrus, clean, fresh, new, bright. Mm. Now it does how how the performance on that one? I get good performance because I only wear that one, bro. I only wear that one like on high heat days. Cause when it comes to summer fragrances, the heat helps these fragrances, right? Yeah. Like if you was to wear a vetiver essential while in the winter, it, it would do good, right? Because it's a man's it's good performance fragrances. But when that heat starts beaming down on that fragrance and start it's almost like it's help. It's helping it radiate off your skin because it's heating up, literally heating mm -hmm. up on your skin. It's just going to leave a nice ass sillage, bro. As you walk past people, you coming in outside. You know, this is the, that's definitely one that's cookout approved. Excuse me, y'all. Okay, I, I, I one of them vibes. I got you. That's cookout approved, bro. That's I one of the you. ones when you moving around, giving everybody handshakes and hugs. They're going to be like, man, bro, what, they're going to pull you back. What you got on, bro? Like, you ever did that? Somebody gave you some dap or a hug, and you had a whoa, 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 what, what was that? What you got? Yeah, on? yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? That's what fragrances do to people, man. I I do it all the time, bro. For you know, sure. I, you know, you got you got some people that say, "Don't ask another man what he wearing." Why? Why? You want to ask him where he get that shirt from and that hat from? Like sometimes dudes, y'all yeah, be too diva. Like mm -hmm. we men, bro, we can share the same thing. Like we ain't gotta be tripping because you not me, I'm not you. Yeah, what you got on, man? Because I need that. You know, you got some people that say like, because you know, women are, I'm known as a fragrance guy in my personal life. So women are coming to me and say, hey, my brother birthday coming up or I want to get my boyfriend some like, what fragrance should I go? I don't point them in the direction of a bad fragrance, mm -hmm. right? Because when he got that fragrance on, his presentation, his aura, his walk, his talk, his conversation, it's not going to mesh well, mesh the same with that fragrance like me. Yeah. When I'm walking through the door wearing Creed Adventures, it's going to be different when you walk through the door wearing creative dimensions. We look different. We walk different. We sound different. We act different, right? So us both having the same fragrance, the only thing people going to say is, damn, you smell good. You might say, oh, he, oh, you smell like, y'all smell like, but they're not going to say either one of y'all is, is, is smelling bad, bro. So that's that's my whole take on that. But I kind of got long-winded with that one. Hey, some, somebody like, said, can y'all tell me about Velvet? That who's I'm so zealous, I think. Can y'all tell me about Velvet Vanilla and Royal Vanilla, oh. which is better? Now, I've tried Velvet Vanilla, and I know, uh, Tazzo, you've tried that as well, Velvet Vanilla. I like Velvet Vanilla. Yeah, I do like it, but uh, to me, it's uh, it's a little bit too feminine for me. Uh, but what I get from Velvet Vanilla is like pink, pink bubble gum, uh, Pink everything, basically like pink bubble gum is tuberose dominant fragrance, but it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. See it me, uh, very sweet I'm, too. Very sweet. Very very sweet. 
I'm so jealous. I never smelled Roy vanilla. Me either. I never smelled. But I've smelled velvet vanilla, and I like it. I'm gonna tell you why I like it, bro. Because I'm when you see me in person, right? You're gonna expect me to have on uh some dark and oud because you could be like, man, he just. I have a certain presence about myself. I'm a man's man, mm -hmm. right? Got tattoos. I work out, right? I'm a man's man, bro. I come from doing, I, I'm a truck driver, and also I come from doing uh, uh, tradesman work. I was an electrician by trade, and he, he an air tech. So I walk with a certain presence, right? So when you are a man's man, and you got on something that has a slight feminine, it offsets your demeanor. Mm -hmm. People are more like, oh, wow, like he really smelled good. Like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. When you got on something that's slightly, what's up, uh, the man Cologne? When you got on something that's slightly feminine, it's like, oh, okay, he smelled good. Like, for the for the ladies, right? You know, for the, for yeah. the fellas, they might be like, oh, damn, but you, you got on something that's kind of like, you know, you, know, you kind of smell good. You know, you got, you got a girl, you, know, you got a girl perfume on, you was at the girl <laughs> house, you know, you got your girl shit on the day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the ladies, for the ladies, right? They're gonna be like, oh, okay, you smell good. Like, cause they're gonna hear, they're gonna smell you, they're gonna say, Oh, damn, he got on something that I probably would wear. Like, damn, that smells mm -hmm. good. I'll wear that, right? So don't be don't be too like fellas, don't be too hard where you can't put on something that's slightly too feminine because uh it offsets you sometimes, right? Now, if you're the type of guy where you 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 a metrosexual type of guy, no, that's no disrespect to anybody that is. But if you're the type of guy where you don't like to get your hands dirty, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, 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 you know, you get, you know, I ain't gonna go too deep because it might be some guys like that in the, in the chat. Mm -hmm. But if you're not a type, if, if you're not a kind of guy that you're not a man's man, and you got on something like velvet vanilla, they might say, "Damn, bro, like, what's up with him?" Like, type, you know, <laughs> yeah, I feel in. you. <laughs> you know, he in too. Like, bro, smell like a, you smell like a, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna fit yeah. your demeanor. Right, and then they're gonna look at you like you know you want you know. I ain't gonna yeah. go too deep into that, but so that's why I say, man, it's, it's all about presentation, confidence, what you are. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I hey, I'm not gonna highlight that because YouTube might catch that and and, and be mad at me, but yeah, <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Spence. yeah, you, you read my mind. Uh, uh but yeah, so um, that's that's what I say about you know Velvanella, like um, you know uh. Sally do like it. Don't, don't get me wrong. Sally likes like it, but it. he, like he it. says it's, it's not for him. Mm -hmm. Say no P. Diddy. <laughs> All right, but listen. So, Sally, I got one, bro, that I want to talk about. Go ahead. That Go ahead. I heard the man Cologne speak about, it, and he happened to be in the chat. Man yeah. Cologne, you, you put me on this one, bro. So, I'm going to speak. Terry it, said, I wore velvet vanilla with a hoodie and Tim's. That's that's not <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, where, I don't have it, bro. Bro, where is it at? Oh, here it is. Whoo, I got scared for a minute. All right. Let me let me pull up these notes first, man, because I want to be um uh, I want to give y'all the notes before um I speak about this one, man. But this one is man Sarah's exclu is it Ayu exclusive? Man, yeah, man Sarah's Ayu want, exclusive. Bro. That is one that I want. I bro, it's one of the ones I had in my cart for so long, and then when I seen the man Cologne speak about it. I was like, oh, yeah, I got to get a sample. So I went and got me a sample. Because some of these men, Sarah's, bro, they ain't cheap, you know. Yeah. You know, they be up in the $80 range. You you lucky if you get one at 60 And that's discounted. Right. You lucky yeah. you get one at 60 So if you, you know, man, Sarah, you're going to, and you, I don't want to be, I ain't in the mood to take an $80 hit, $90 hit. Yeah. So, um, but this one here, y'all, in the top notes, you get saffron, labium, cumin, pepper, Bulgarian rose. Indonesia patchouli, uh, violet, ooh, and oriental notes. Now, I'm gonna spray this one. I'm gonna tell y'all what this one reminds me a lot of, and I could be wrong. Let me get let me put my nose on it again to see if it changes. All right, here we go. This one is definitely you do definitely get the oriental notes in here, but this one is sexy, bro. It's sexy, man. Like, this is one of the ones. Like, is it like a traditional oud rose kind of thing? Like, what's the vibe? You get the oud. It's slightly, slightly, not too much. It's a little powderiness in here. You get like a, in a weird way. Hear me out, Sally. It smells like a fresh 
wooden floor, right? Really? You ever been in a brand new house? Yeah. And they just got done waxing the floor, putting the floor down, and they, it has like that feel to it. Like, it has a, it's a very strong woodiness to this fragrance, like fresh wax wood, right? Mm. Uh, it's a floral touch to this fragrance as well. Very floral, not very floral, but slightly floral. Uh, or when I say wood, I want to probably want to say more so oriental. I might right. have pull up the notes on that. Um, it's called, it what is it like called a, again? Uh, what, what is it's it called Aoud Exclusive. Aoud Exclusive. Okay. It's very good though, bro. It's very, very good. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't say this is feminine at all. This is definitely a masculine fragrance. Uh strong proje projection. <laughs> they cut up in the comment section tonight, bro. Man. Man, oh man, this is good. My computer is moving so oriental good. feel for sure. Now, is it like amber you touches or yes, you do get an amber, you do get an amber feel to this fragrance. Now, like, is it oud rose? Is it something like oud tat mood? Like, do you smell like anything like that or no? Nothing like that. Okay. If I was to compare this to some, I would compare this to Nishane's Neff's little brother. Mm. Oh, I gotta try that. This I would compare this to Nishane Neff's. Well, uh, man, cologne. I guarantee you, when you get your nose on Nishane Neff's, you're gonna come back in my video. You can be like, Tazo, he was right. This gives me a lot of Nishan A. Neps feels, bro. It's so much going on. I really can't even really explain it, bro. Yeah, I got to try that one, man. You it's get a, rose. It's a, it's a warm spice. Clean wood. Amber, it smells like ooh. clean wood with some oriental vibes to it. like Fresh, spicy, rose, woody, musky, patchouli. I, I really, and then you get like an incense feel to it. Yeah. So it says now, You know what it smells like? I'm going to give you one. Hey, Sal, I got you. You know what it smells like? What's that? You ever walked into an African boutique yeah. in like a flea market and you just smell like you get like a strong whiff of just like very good incense, but like yeah. not cheap ones, but like the big thick. We know the big thick. Oh, here we go again. I'm going to cut me up. <laughs> you, <laughs> uh, yeah, you bringing it tonight. Yeah. <laughs> but it smells like, and then it has like a slight sweetness too, like right, as it dries down. Mm hmm. But yeah, this smells like when you walk into like an African boutique, and then he got the he got the uh the incense like in a bag, like different, you know, they section all. It smells like a, a African boutique uh incense table. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh my god, it's good. Yeah, I, I gotta, gotta get a full bottle of that. I'm definitely getting a sample. I gotta get a full bottle of that. I gotta get a full bottle of that, bro. My suit, man, Sarah's Ayud exclusive, bro. Gotta get a full bottle. Yeah, All right, that one, bro. so that, that wraps it up for me for the night when it comes to man, Sarah. Man, you got another one you want to speak about because I'm getting ready to close it down. But we're about to be at 10 o'clock and I gotta go. We had an hour almost an hour and 30. Dang, time blung it. it's been an hour. I, blung it. I got a few, it's been an hour I, got, 30, bro. I got a handful more, but um, yeah, we're getting at an hour and 30, bro. Okay, I gotta, so. yeah, we could we could all we could do a part two. Okay, so I'll do a part two. Uh, I guess I'll end off with this one. This is an easy reach from Mansara. It's very similar to uh, what's that? Chanel Allure. I don't know if it's a sport or one of those. It's Cosmic mm -hmm. Pepper. Man, oh. if you love that Chanel Allure sport, but it don't last long to you, give this a try, man. This smells exactly like that, but it just has these peppery facets to it. I mean, it smells exactly like it, bro. There's no denying it. It just it's a little bit more richer to me. Uh, the peppery nuances in here, and you get longevity, and it's a slight, uh, I want to say it's a slight oody feel up under there. But overall, it smells almost the same as that, man. This is a good one. Have you ever tried this? Uh -uh. I, I really don't hear a lot of people even speak on that one. Yeah, this is one of their own. Um, Isn't that didn't that come out with like um Tonka Cola and came out with like around that time? Cafe? Yeah. I think okay. it was. I, it might have been after Tonka Cola. I know that this is this was came out probably two thousand two, 
probably the end of 2022 or start of 2023, but it's definitely one of the uh, more recent uh, releases for sure. And um, yeah, man, it's it's good, man. It is an easy reach. This this can be uh, it's an easy reach, like how so Drop Boys A is or um, okay. Uh, Sicily. Yeah, it's definitely easy reach. I like it. It's, it's a very likable fragrance. I think that this uh, can garner a lot of compliments. If you, okay. you know, you got your your whole stuff together, clothes, with sneakers, whatever, your haircut. This is one that is easy reach. And like I said, if you love that uh, Chanel Alorn Sport, you have to give this a try because this lasts longer. It projects more. And it's a richer, richer smell and has a beautiful peppery nuance. Very nice. Hey, you said something. I wanted to I wanted to stop you right there. I feel like we are we are we are in a community of fragrances, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't I noticed a lot of YouTubers speak about like being well groomed already before mm -hmm. the fragrance. Like I feel like why do we even go there? That's a given, right? Like we are in the fragrance community, so like if we're in a room full of guys and all of us have on our fragrance from Mansara, Nishan Nate, Zerjo, Naxo, I mean, not Naxo, uh, Unique Luxury, Anishio, it's pretty much a given that we are all well groomed guys, right? Yeah. Like, I don't think there's going to be a bum in the room smelling like Zerjo, Naxos, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? That so I don't know. I, I never understood. And then it's different if you are new to fragrances, then and you might have some, had some people still be funky though, but I get what you said. <laughs> but I feel like why don't we always yeah, you gotta be well groomed and have your hair cut and like we are in we are in the fragrance space. This is uh under the health and beauty genre, right? Under yeah. the health and beauty catalog category, whatever the case. Like I never understood why people always go, oh, be well groomed, like duh, like. We're in the fragrance. That's the last thing. Yeah. To the, put yourself together. The cherry on top. So yeah. Yeah. You know, I see. What I you don't see somebody that. coming out the house, coming, going to grab um, uh, BDK extract. Ain't shower within day. Well, you got some dudes like that. I will hope. Another like, bad thing though that that some people can do is, you know, they'll they'll spray like a fragrance on their hoodie, one day, then the next day spray something else. Hell on their then the next day, spray something else on that hoodie. Then that's when you start to smell funky and just like a bunch of cologne. Yeah, so you got to yep. make sure your clothes is, your hoodies is washed. But or, my thing is, damn, bro, when are you going to wash that hoodie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, I don't know. I feel like we, we're we we're, we're dumbing down. Not dumbing down, but we're talking as if this community is not already like uh, a well put together community, you know. Um, but that's just my take. Um, but yeah, Sully, man, I gotta get up out of here, bro. Thanks uh, for having me, man. Always, man, it's always, always a pleasure. pleasure. I think we're doing a great job on doing these live streams, bro. Um, I'm open to having other people come up with come come up here with us. I know the Aroma Plug is another guy mm -hmm. I would love to share this platform with, or you know, if he is if he's up for it, we didn't already had the man Cologne come up here, man. Like we, this is a platform where. You know, uh, we we positive people, bro. Um, we you know we we young guys or however old you. It don't matter about your age. It's as giving long the as people you people what they want, right? Get the people what they want. Yeah, right? we're giving people what they want, bro. Because let's be honest, bro. Two years ago, three years ago, this this community had some corn balls, bro. Right? You know what I'm saying? It's time to have some 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 new life in here bro yeah. some some cool guys around here bro yeah you know what I'm saying? Like some cool guys that, around that bro. look like you and me man like you know look like me and you act like me and you and and just you know just being cool you ain't got to be black bro like this is not we're not just saying you got to be black I'm, i like anybody bro i don't care what color yeah. you are what background you come from just be cool man be yourself and let's talk fragrances bro uh that's all i'm saying man so that's what me and Sally bring to the table. That's what I'm bringing to the table, man. I'm I'm bringing in diversity to this fragrance community. And when I say diversity, I mean not the same old. I'm married and I go to work and I get compliments at work, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Me and Sally, we outside, bro. You know, we outside, bro. We we moving around. So 
we can give y'all different perspectives. And shout out to the female YouTubers, bro. Oh, yeah. They, out, they, they, they don't get a lot of love. A lot of mm -hmm. the female YouTubers, they actually bring more diversity to the fragrance community than the men do. Mm -hmm. You see them at malls in Times Square in these different major cities with two or three fragrances here. Try that. We need those different styles of reviews, reviewers bringing different spins to this community. Versus the same old, I'm a married man. I have kids, and I go to work and get compliments. Come on, bro. So that's that's the, that's 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 our whole. Well, that's my. I'm gonna say I can't speak for saying, but that's my whole thing. Is I wanted to bring a different spin to this community where, you know, what I'm saying any age group, any background can say, yo, he remind me of my brother. He remind me of me. He cool as hell. I want to watch his videos and still talk about the top fragrances. We can we can still talk about. The top fragrances, because we got them. We got the same fragrances these top reviewers got. But don't we act a little different? Ain't we a little bit more easier to watch? You can laugh. How many times have these top reviewers had live streams and you can go in there and say pause? And right. Get a good laugh real quick. And we can talk about, um, you know, these different, you know, fragrances and where you can wear them at. Some of these dudes ain't outside. All they do is go to work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, let's just be real about it, bro. But I don't knock nobody, bro. I want everybody to win. No, 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 I'm no just telling y'all, we're talk, here, to, talk we here to bring something different. That's all I'm saying. We're here to bring something different, bro. And y'all going to have a good time. When you mm -hmm. watch me and Stella up here, or me and whoever, we're going to have a good time. Ain't no Amen. man. We can laugh and we can joke and have fun. That's cool, too. You know it's, saying, a cool, it's a cool thing, man. We trying to make it cool. You know, it's, it's cool. It's fun. It's it's something that more people should be um into like you know it's a, a fun hobby to uh, smell different things and uh have a nice fragrance wardrobe people do it with sneakers i mean more people need to start doing it with fragrances as well man right. and that's just my little two cents on that you know right bro and like i say man just support us man we you know, we we here to stay. We here to you know just have fun. We gonna, we just having fun, people. We having mm -hmm. fun talking fragrances and uh, just come along for the ride, bro. You know, so sell it. I'm gonna leave out on that note. And uh, we're gonna do a part. We're gonna do a part two. Yeah, we can do a part two. I gotta get some more man serious then. Cause I didn't about talk about all that. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> That's right, I get some more. I, I LeBron. I LeBron the situation next time. I carry right, okay. <laughs> but next, and we're gonna do another house next, y'all. It might be Nishan. I might be Zerjov. Might be Zerjov. Or it might, might be, be Anisha Marley. Or you know, it might be Montal. You never know. All right, now look, we're gonna or get up out of here. Designers, man. it might be clones. You never know. Hey, let's talk about them. Let's talk about them. Hey, look, man, y'all be safe tonight, man. Have a good night. Be safe. Be positive. To everybody in the chat. Man. Hit the like button if you already have yes. it. Yes. Hit that wipe like button on off. the way out, please. When you come in somebody's house, you wipe you wipe your feet off, man. Take your shoes off. That's how you take your shoes off in the house, man. Hit that like button on the way out of here, y'all. Love y'all, <laughs> man. Y'all be safe, bro. And I tip my hat to Sully, man. Thank you, Peace, man. I'll right. catch y'all next time. Peace to everybody. Peace and blessings. All right. I'm going to holler. Right. He said that might be. They crazy, man. <laughs>